Okay, interesting. So we have complete the healing cycle. Apply medicine on the wound. Sometimes when you disappear on people, it's not personal. You have to deal with your own life and its happenings. This will help you feel safe, confident, comfortable because of not being knocked off your center. Morph into a safe space for yourself and others. Soften up and become receptive to this, to this transformation. Liberate yourself from unconscious pain, infliction, and fly away from any self-imposed imprisonment. All right, my love. So, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What I'm seeing for you guys with this being the theme is that you're finally learning to liberate yourself, liberating yourself from past karmic cycles that have troubled you, that have not let you sleep at night, that have given you nightmares, that have given you certain worries in your past about how to move forward you know because maybe you were stuck in a cycle where you thought that you could never get out of it but spirit says that you know you had to disappear from that person you had to cut them off maybe they cut you off maybe they stopped talking to you right but that was important because this is how you can heal yourself and not need anybody else in the process of you first healing yourself looking at all of your wounds and tending to them with care with love you know pampering yourself loving yourself enough so that you can meet your partner on an equal level rather than taking from them or you know giving to them too much you know which can also be dangerous right so it's time that you finally recognize these patterns within yourself. This is a time in your life where you're recognizing that um, even if you disappear on people, you are not answerable to people for what they believe you're doing, what they believe you should do, what they believe how you should behave. It's time that you're recognizing that your time is money, your time is valuable, earth signs. Uh, time is money is what I'm hearing. Time is valuable. And um, you won't get this time back because of some failures or some past mishaps that you've had to go through with this person, whoever it may be. Maybe you've had a long cycle with this person and you're finally realizing that you have to let it go because you have been wasting your time, you've been wasting your energy and you could have been very, very hard on yourself in this separation period where uh, maybe this person made you feel insecure about yourself. Maybe you thought that, you know, you don't deserve much because of how they treated you, how they insulted you or just left you out in the cold and never answered back. But Spirit is saying this happened for your own good. You see how the candle is flickering? Like this happened for your own good so that you can finally liberate yourself from that cycle. Just like that flickering. You can liberate yourself, right? And now the flame is stable. See? So you are finally learning how to kind of go through this tumultuous situation with a lot of grace, with a lot of dignity, with a lot of elegance, right? You don't want to blame anybody for what they have done to you. You're finally forgiving, realizing, accepting that, you know, sometimes you enabled yourself to be in the position where maybe 
you know you strung them along by overgiving by enabling them to do the deeds that they did you know you gave too much you gave too much of yourself to the point where this person i mean they took you for granted they took you for a ride and you realize that now you realize that you're finally maturing to this level where if people want to stay in your life well and good if people want to leave your life well and good but you are very discerning about who you give your energy to your time to your efforts to because once you guys start giving your energy to someone you go all the way in right so you don't want to just invest in something or someone that is always fickle minded that doesn't know what they want that that is directionless in life uh, that has no seriousness towards their purpose towards their evolution you know things like that like big things like that so a lot of major changes coming in your relationship cycles with people right Uh, at the bottom of this deck it has exploiting the darkness within you by manipulating it through cruelty right it's not the ordinary enemy so maybe you had relationships in the past with your friends your colleagues your loved ones who were close to you yet they wanted to exploit the darkness within you by manipulating it through cruelty right so these people could have been very cruel they could have been mean they didn't know where to draw the line when it came to letting their demons out on other people so they took it out on you because you know you are on your path focusing on your work on yourself improving yourself you know this person is like how dare you do that to me how dare you reject me how dare you abandon me you belong to me your energy belongs to me this person is saying here because they are not the ordinary enemy that you have and your enemy came in the face of your lover your enemy came in the face of your family the enemies came in the face of your closest people in your life but through that you are finally closing out the chapters by recognizing that it was not worth it and that you have given them enough benefit of the doubt you know you have given them ample of chances to fix themselves to you know come correct to you come in a respectful way towards you you know bring you the level of respect and love that you deserve earth signs right with the green here this talks about the heart chakra so this person was very much manipulating your heart your heart strings you know they thought that those strings belong to them and they could play it whenever they want they could abandon it whenever they want and you would still accept them but that's not the truth anymore right wow so let's see my loves um Let's see what's coming up for you guys. So something about setting up is coming up with the divine masculine. So uh, if you're dealing with a divine divine masculine, uh, somebody is definitely setting them up. Okay, if you're not in contact with this person, or um, if you have been away from this person, like this person has not been responding to you. With the other pile, I have this as well on top. Friends setting up DM, right? So it's their friends. Who are setting them up, okay? For failure, this uh, like uh, their friends are very toxic, is what I'm picking up. So you need this distance from your DM right now if you are in separation, so that they also can recognize the things that you are recognizing right now, right? And sometimes there are times when one person matures more than the other. Like you, Earth signs. I feel whoever's watching this reading, you have matured way before your partner, way before your soulmate. So if, if it's taking them time, just you know. have some um, grace within yourself to give them that space and also to focus on yourself while you have the separation between both of you so that you can improve yourself so that you can complete the healing cycle of the past because the more you do the healing the more your soulmate or your partner will be able to um, do the same as well you know have the courage to do the same as well okay because right now they are in the cycle of being set up by people you know people are kind of plotting on them trying to steal uh you know what they have or you know things like that so make sure that you are aware about that you know let's see what is coming up for my earth signs taurus virgo capricorn this is a timeless reading guys like i said okay i'm a general reading so if it's resonating let me know in the comments down below please tell me spirit what is coming up for the earth signs taurus virgo capricorn some of you could be dealing with uh, water signs i wanted to say water signs so cancer pisces scorpio coming up for my earth signs Taurus Virgo and Capricorn Taurus Virgo and Capricorn We 
have radio head creep ooh okay somebody has been listening to some sad songs about you or signs this person is definitely in their head about you okay um but they themselves feel like they uh, this person who has disconnected from you uh, someone could be from your past somebody could be you know uh, the next person that you are eyeing you know for a serious relationship with you um that this new person kind of feels like like they they are not able to approach you easily like they don't know how to approach you because there seem to be a lot of guards that you have um they kind of feel creeped out in wanting to approach you because they feel like you know that i don't want to come across as a creep i don't want to come across as someone awkward or you know um and they're kind of putting up a mask here you know how it happens in the initial stages of a relationship where um we have to put on put on certain mask in order to um uh, please the other in order to impress the other right so i'm getting that this person is kind of wondering what mask should they wear to like you know um I'm hearing confront you. I don't know why I'm hearing confront because this person kind of maybe you have like ignored them. I'm feeling kind kind of funny about this. Like I'm getting giggles out of this this thought itself. So I'm I'm getting that this person genuinely feels very giggly around you or maybe they say things that they're not meant to and then they feel like they're a creep and that you would think they're a creep. What the hell on science? Where is this reading going? let's see so you guys are literally like completing a cycle and starting a brand new cycle for yourself but even this person from this new cycle is kind of scared to approach you okay they feel like you might think they are a creep or that they're stalking you so they're kind of taking their time because maybe you said something that caused them to kind of take a step back rather than you know pursue you but this person is definitely interested in you and they don't want to come across as a creep okay <laughs> and you here you are maturing you are like the shaman the medicine woman the medicine man you know trying to heal yourself and complete cycles we have narcissist and we have hold on hold on okay we have the narcissist here wow So this is a person from your past who is a narcissist. It says extreme self-involvement to the degree that makes them ignore the needs of everyone around them. They disregard everyone's feelings, can be charming and charismatic, surrounded by people who feed their ego, superficial relationships. Wow. So earth signs. Here is what I'm getting. <laughs> so this person is definitely a creep of your past, somebody from your past who wants to come back to you. They are a narcissist and it's like they, you fed their ego the whenever you were there for them whenever there was a door open to you they fed on your ego they fed on your emotions they fed on your love for them that was endless you know you kept giving you kept thinking that this was for the long haul you kept investing in this and this this person has the spirit of narcissism in them which means that they are very self involved they do not care about how their decisions affect other people as long as it's for their own benefit right and it they kind of ignore everybody else's needs but themselves so i feel like um, this person wants to come back because they see you growing they see you changing they see you evolving and it creeps them out it it scares them in a way because they feel like they they are going to lose you they they are going to lose access to you lose control over you and what they are not realizing is that they have already lost control you know the moment you stepped into the cycle of completing the healing by every time they tried to wound you you are applying the medicine on those wounds now and you're finally letting go this person doesn't realize they are in a delusion trying to play songs in their head about maybe you guys shared some songs together playlist together where you both listen to the same kind of music and things like that but they're kind of deluding themselves in the process of missing you okay oh my god look at that at the bottom of the deck we have can't sleep alone okay so this person cannot sleep alone they miss being around you they miss being beside you they miss your touch your you know your essence just your soul you know your soul being there for them always nurturing them throughout th their life and they this person hasn't come across anybody like that because they keep meeting people who are just like them you know narcissists who themselves are very self absorbed in what they want and when they don't get that they fight and they create drama and chaos and you are this oasis of stability of security and you provide that blanket of safety and that blanket of home for people especially for this ex of yours and 
maybe you shared blankets with them like literally right that's the channel download that's coming in and they can't sleep alone they can't sleep without you like it's it's hard for them to even think about it you know um also this hold on one second so i got the other deck let's see other pile i mean let's see tell me more about this spirit so you finally letting go of this person like you know you feel that they are a creep and they don't deserve to be in your life and you deserve that comfort you deserve that you deserve that space so that you can grow into a safe space for yourself as well as others rather than trying to hurt others because you have been hurt you know um, so that is something very sensible i'm so so proud of you all times so turn on some ac for us for me <laughs> okay but yeah i feel so involved in your reading because i'm an outsider myself so i definitely understand your energy here so let's see tell me more spirit for earth sign taurus virgo capricorn what's coming up we have karmic past life trauma bonds okay so this person was very very hard to let go of earth signs okay they are a karmic in your life they were supposed to teach you a lesson and this was in a way for you to evolve and to move on from them this was not something permanent but maybe you made a lot of assumptions in your head about this person like you know that you're meant to go for the long haul that you know you're meant to marry together you're meant to travel the world together like there could have been a lot of thoughts a lot of feelings involved in this um and you both could have bonded due to a trauma that you both share uh maybe this could be familial trauma where you know you both have been through the same trauma within the family or um you grew up with the same kind of family you know with similar traumas and similar um behaviors of the shadow that kind of trigger um as into you know our next cycle our, as into our next evolution right so yeah you have a trauma bond with this person and or you had a trauma bond is what i mean okay you had a trauma bond with them you're releasing that you're releasing any bonds that are not serving you so that you can attract a better person in your life it's just as simple as that you know but this person cannot sleep alone they want to still be there keep coming keeps coming back to keeps trying to creep you out like you you started feeling creepy about this person like why the hell are you doing this why are you stalking me why are you you why are you interested in what i'm doing <laughs> you know who i'm with or what i want in life like why are you so interested in me and that's because this person has some trauma bonds to you that they are not able to release they need to evolve they also need to release this because it was a lesson for both of us right but this person is not able to get over you okay it's just that's the effect your energy has on people earth signs and you need to get used to that so that you can heal and know that you deserve the same kind of a person who would give into you as much as you give to people rather than just feeding on your love okay oh my god and what fell down <laughs> looking at your shit <laughs> seriously okay looking at your shit this person is obsessed with you earth signs okay this person is obsessed with looking at your shit they could be looking at your social media they could be looking at your uh, youtube or if you're uh, an influencer they could be checking all your social media pages to know like what's up with you what are you posting who are you with um if you're following your purpose and you're you know kind of isolating yourself from others this person is like how are you growing how are you evolving this person wants to like take what is yours and i'm i'm getting that this person wants to come back because somewhere they feel guilty about what they have done to you okay but that guilt does not reciprocate or mirror the energy of them letting go of their narcissism like they still are a narcissist even though they're feeling a little guilty but that's because they are not getting what they want and when they think about why they are not getting what they want because they mistreated you they didn't value your energy when they think about those things then they feel a little guilty on the inside but that doesn't take away the narcissism from them they're still narcissistic they still want to trap you in a trauma bond with them never let you go never let you evolve never let you um grow into the best version of yourself okay so this person is looking at your shit and wanting to kind of you know reignite the passion reignite the flames between um, you and them okay please tell me more spirit what else for my earth signs 
wow we have a lot of cards for you guys okay so i'm gonna take all of them so we have first is uh, narcotic addiction so this person could be into narcotic addiction or they are addicted to substances or maybe in the past you both were into substances together and this person could be like luring you in with substances or trying to like you know maybe if you quit smoking they will you know maybe video call you while they're, while they're smoking or things like that you know trying to pull you back into that karmic cycle where you know that you have completed the cycle and you are on to the next chapter of your life this person is pulling you back they don't want you to be better or become better right um so there's a lot of addictions that are also enabling them to be on the same behavior rather than improving themselves rather than fixing all the things that they are doing to destroy themselves right and then we have i gave the dm std sti no cure okay so oh my god so i can't believe this so a masculine here is struggling with um, std here and this is why they do the addictions this is why they um, are addicted to substances because that that's how they're able to escape the fact that they have this and they are in fact they're they're even making it worse than what it is by doing this is what i'm hearing and this is like their karma with the karmic card in between it's like their karma for hurting you for you giving them so much love and support and them not reciprocating it and treating it like trash and look at that always drunk and want sex right so this person is like always drunk always high they are always looking for some way to like um release their energy through intimacy through sex so that they can feel better about themselves so that they can feel that you know i'm you know i am who all that i'm all that i am you know i am all that i say i am and things like that but this person is all talk and no work and no um no substance to this person like it's all about just consuming narcotic substance but no substance to them whatsoever that's what i'm getting and all the secrets are being exposed yes this this reading is exposing a lot of their secrets to you and also um somewhere it's like you've seen them you've 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 realized that this person is quite toxic and every time like you know you guys come together maybe there's a, a moment of you know talking about getting into toxic stuff together maybe smoking together or drinking together or partying together doing nothing productive but only doing what's bad for both of you like the, you both know that this is not good for you and yet this person keeps wanting to come back because they cannot replace you it's like the grass was never greener on the other end especially when they treated you like trash when you were there for them throughout you know um when they left you when they left you for a third party this th this third party was uh, i think this third party gave them the the std okay wow when we have this card again at the bottom the uh, wants to poison you is also here wow so this person is like if i can't have you nobody else can this narcissist is like every time they get, they get high or drunk they feel like they they want to keep you tied to them or like in bondage with them in some way um so they they could try to like feed you things in order to like keep your energy to them or you never being able to move on by keep on repeating the traumas in your head about what you have been through with them or in other love relationships how you have been hurt how you have been traumatized and you keep thinking about it over and over again and that's what they are trying to like bring in your head with the radio head right it's like that's the frequency they want to channel for you where you feel like everybody is a creep you know that if you know me and i am the creep that you know it i am better than any other creep because you don't know the other creeps at least you know me this is what this person is saying my god this person has like a hold on your energy your signs what the hell wants to poison you okay and then we have awakening okay breakthrough so you are breaking through this you are breaking through this you are awakening to the truth of this person because all the secrets are being exposed um and you are embarking on an enterprise and you have hope for your future okay you're embarking on this energy of being hopeful for your life hopeful for your future you're not trying to um you're not trying to get a revenge on them you're not trying to pull their energy towards you like you're done with that maybe at one point you were like that maybe you used to wait for them to come home so you could cook for them so you could you know provide them nurture them but that phase of your life is dead it's gone it's like a snake has shed its skin and now you can't just put that skin back on the snake like it's obviously going to fall off because that's the natural process of things 
right so when people do not accept the natural changes that have to occur for the evolution of both the souls right then such moments occur where you know there's a complete separation there's a complete boundary there's a complete stop and if you try to push against that wall if you try to um kind of disrupt the natural process of evolution uh you're going to pay very badly for that you know you're going to play pay, pay very badly for that like you know obviously you will be haunted in your sleep you can't sleep alone because you're so self obsessed that now you keep thinking about you know the things that you've done you feel guilty then you have to get high and escape it's like you're killing yourself the moment that they think they want to poison you they are already poisoning themselves so what other thoughts can they have towards you what signs they're already killing themselves in the process of the guilt that they have very deep inside them and i know they haven't apologized to you yet it's like they're holding on to your energy like anything okay so it's very very important that you know this so that you can release them you can let them go you can complete the healing cycle apply the medicine on the wounds that this person gave you throughout your life or throughout the time you invested in them because you thought that this was going for the long haul but it is it okay and this is your confirmation for that this reading should give you the release okay let me know in the comments down below how much you are resonating with this okay so wow so let's see should i get an advice for you guys i think i should i'll get an advice what on spirit regarding the situation for my art signs what is the advice for my art signs be careful guys of what you are you know drinking when you you're with them what you're you know indulging into when you are with this person if you are planning to again go back although spirit is advising you completely against it okay be careful of everything that you're doing because this person is hell bent on having you okay because they know that you know you're you're this kind person who will always be there for them or you know they see your genuinity and they don't find it in anyone else okay so that is something priceless you have earth signs and you need to protect that okay you need to protect your innocence from this person you need to protect your peace from this person very very important please give me an advice spirit pertaining to the spread what should my earth signs do in this situation how should they complete the healing cycle apply the medicine on the wound is there any advice spirit is there any advice pertaining to the spread we have happy happy yes do things that make you happy earth signs do things that light your fire that ignite your flame right go within to discover these secrets about you discover that you know you are happy by yourself you know you you are finally realizing that whatever happened in your life it happened so you could finally realize what makes you truly happy and what doesn't you know what you need to check off that you know list of yours where you know you want certain things in a partner and you don't now you know what you need and what you don't in a way but you also know how to read the red flags so it makes you very very protected in your own peace in your own space and you get to be happy you get to be yourself in this new cycle of your life you don't have to um you know crush your happiness to be with this person you don't have to rely on this imprisonment of thought where you have you know imprisoned yourself like this card says you know self imposed imprisonment maybe you are with this person currently and you know this person is like this yet you are, have not been able to let go of this so this is a confirmation that once you let go of this you are going to step into this energy of being happy happy by yourself okay and nobody will be able to stop your smile nobody will be able to take away your peace nobody will be able to affect you um in such a drastic manner okay so let's see 26 So we have 
there are moments in a relationship when you just feel good about whom you are with and you know that your heart is wide open to befriend to love and to care for another without wanting anything in return this is the kind of happy that you just want to share the appearance of this card in a reading tells you that joy and contentment are here now not somewhere else or off in the future the grass is green is right where you stand you know i'm i'm getting that your person is realizing this like you know when they had you they never valued you but now that you're gone now that you don't give your energy to them now to now that you're not concerned not worried about where they are what they're doing are they dead are they alive you don't care anymore and that is what brought this person happiness when you cared when you gave but now that you don't it's like this happiness has been taken away from them but the reason that it has been taken away from them is their own karma and the reason you need to bring happiness back in your life is because you gave too much of it to them you gave too much of your your own happiness in their hands like it was them it depended on them whether you would smile whether you would you know cherish your moments and spirit is saying that's not the truth the joy and contentment are in your hands right now it's not with them it's not in the past where things were the way they were it's not in the future it's just right here right now and the moment you embrace that the moment you embrace this aspect that you know happiness will never leave you it's always within you for you to tap into that frequency right and not be creeped out by what has happened but rather accept it as a part of you know a medal that you got in this walk of life you know where you get to share this experience with others and help others grow in case they ever need any advice from you right there's a there's a healing factor here and you will be known for this is what i'm hearing for my earth signs you will be known for transmuting all this dark and negative energy into such bright positive brilliance you know so yes the appearance uh, okay i read that be grateful and delight in your relationship and if you are seeking one be happy now happiness attracts more of it self like bees to honey right so this is a time for you to shift your frequency from all the pain and the wound that you're closing out this chapter with this person that you're closing out and you're moving to a better version of yourself it's time to tap into the infinite potential of happiness within you so that you can um, attract the same person to you a person that is happy in their own life a person that is focused on their goals in their own life you know they they have a goal a dream a vision of becoming someone doing something you know um, creating an impact in the world like you will meet such people the moment you bring your energy to that level you meet that energy and you match that energy on that level right so yes my loves this is what is coming towards you so i'm so 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 glad that i did this reading so that you know you recognize the inner work that you have to do in order to get out of this and this turned out into a love reading sometimes i do spiritual sometimes it's love sometimes it's a lot of mixture of a lot <laughs> okay um i don't predict these they just come out the way they do so let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this um also if you would like to book a private reading with me the uh, link tree link as well as the tarot booking form is given in the description box below right and all the details i've already mentioned before all right my loves so thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this and peace